Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we want to show you a few DIYs and surprise ideas that you can do for Mother's Day. So we actually celebrated Mother's Day with our mom this past Sunday since all of her kids and grandkids were in town. So we thought it would be a good idea to show you how we celebrated her and hopefully give you some tips and ideas that are super easy and fun to help you celebrate your mom, grandma, or the mother figure in your life. For our first DIY gift, we made her a money bouquet and you need real or artificial flowers, a pool noodle, we're using $50 bills but of course you can use whatever bill you want, some barbecue skewer and tape. You want to grab the left bottom corner of the bill and bring it to the middle and keep rolling it so the top left of the bill is pointing up. Place a small piece of tape to secure it and then place the stick where you just placed the tape but on the inside of the bill. Add another small piece of tape to secure the stick and that's how you make the money flower. We cut the pool noodle in half so we have enough material to work with but once you're done you can cut a little more to your desired size. We cut ours to about 7-8 inches. We have done a money bouquet using dollar bills before and you can use any denomination you'd like but we wanted a different setup this time around so we place all the flowers in the middle and finish the arrangement with the bills circling around. We also cut the flower picks and the skewers in half to make it more manageable when you're sticking them to the noodle. And once you're almost done placing all the bills, move it away a bit to see if there are any gaps and fill them in with the remainder of the bills. result guys super easy to do and very affordable and I can assure you any mom will love to receive this gift our next DIY is a floral mason jar vase you need a mason jar some floral scrapbooking paper you can also use floral napkin white paint Mod Podge a paint marker and paintbrush after you clean your mason jar, you want to start painting and we used white chalk paint and linen white that you can get at any craft store. And I did about three coats of paint. This paint adheres really well and it leaves a matte finish. dries go ahead and pick the images you want and you want to use a design that has smaller elements that you can cut out now grab some Mod Podge use a paintbrush to apply a little where you plan to stick the first image apply the image and paint over it with more Mod Podge you can also use a full pattern design if you'd like I just wanted to use small flowers for what I had in mind but it's just a matter of preference. As you can see, I applied three images on top and three images on the bottom. And I'm going to use the marker pen to write first mom on top and in the middle I'm going to write now grandma. Also, the Mod Podge leaves somewhat of a shine so you can apply it all over the jar to avoid any patchy look. 
And next to each flower, I'm going to write the name of her kids and grandkids. And here's the final result. This DIY was super easy and relaxing to make and you can use this mason jar as a vase, a pencil holder, a centerpiece or anything you'd like. And for our final surprise, instead of going with a typical breakfast in bed, we wanted to do a special brunch for our mom with some of our favorite breakfast items. please leave us a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already hit the notification bell because on our next video we'll be announcing a giveaway so you don't want to miss it thank you for watching and i wish all the moms out there a happy mother's day